Hello everyone. Very recently, I came across a situation while submitting a paper that I've never have seen before. I really didn't know how to solve it. And so in this video, I want to share with you what the situation is, how I addressed it, and also would like to hear from you on how you would have tried to solve this situation. So please let me know in the comments below what you would have done in this case. Specifically, I was submitting a journal paper. And this journal paper was an extension of a previously published conference paper. And probably, as you know, this is allowed by most journals as long as you have at least 30% new material with respect to the conference submission. Generally, in these cases, what you need to do is to submit a summary of differences as well as attach to the journal submission your conference paper so that the editors and the reviewers can compare the two versions and understand if there is enough new material or not. However, the challenge that I had with this submission is that the journal required the submission to be double blind so we could not reveal our identities and i've made a video about double blind review submissions so please make sure to check this video i'm going to link it in the description below the clear conflict here is that on the one hand we could not reveal our identities but on the other hand we had to declare that this paper was an extension of a conference version which was already published so of course as soon as you declared that the reviewer could understand who are the authors of the paper at the same time, the submission system was not very helpful because, they, first of all, did not provide any specific guidelines on how to address this. And it just allowed you to say that this was an extension of a previously published paper. And at the same time, reminded you that the paper had to be double blind. And here is the dilemma. How do we address this situation? So I'm going to tell you how I did it. And I'm not sure this is going to be the best answer to this question so please make sure to not only like this video and subscribe to the channel but also provide your comment on how you would have addressed these situations in the comment below the first thing i suggest you do in this case is to ask the editor how they want this specific situation to be addressed because different journals may have different policies and this kind of special case situation may be addressed differently then the way in which i specifically address this situation is by understanding that in the submission system, you can upload some files which are shared with the reviewers and some files which are not shared with the reviewers. So what I did is that I uploaded the cover letter and the journal manuscript as files that are shared with the reviewers. And then I uploaded the summary of difference and the conference version of the paper as files which are not shared with the reviewers. This solution has the advantage that I'm being honest in declaring that the manuscript was an extension of a previously published conference paper, but at the same time is not revealing to the reviewers who are the authors of the paper, because both the cover letter and the journal submission manuscript were anonymized. However, at the same time, the reviewers are the real actors here that will read the paper and understand its contribution. So are those which are better positioned in understanding if with respect to the conference version, you have added new material or not. While in with the solution that I proposed, only the editor would be aware that a conference version actually existed. So this solution, I think it's okay, but may not be the best one. And so I'm very curious to hear from you how you would address this solution. So please let me know in the comment below and see you at the next video.